confrontation during a Sunday sermon in Brooklyn landed two people behind bars, including a bishop who argues he was protecting his family. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngela spoke with both people involved and has the video from Canarsie. Are we going to pause right here? April? During a live stream right Sunday here. service at Leaders of Tomorrow right International Ministries, okay. Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead appears to get disrupted. You want to come preach? You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Come on up here. Come on up here. The bishop says it all started when two women came into the church mid-sermon. One of my ministers told them that you cannot record. You can't record. And they began to make a scene. Police say when a woman was asked to stop recording and leave, she began to antagonize the bishop and approach him on stage. They take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures. Take the pictures. As she walks past Bishop Whitehead, he appears to grab her from behind and they move off camera. Seen her walk in front of me, going at my wife and my daughter, and I grabbed her. He says he was worried about his family and thinking back to the moment in July when he was robbed at gunpoint during a sermon streamed live online. That's the only thing that I can remember. This lady had a bag under her arm and she was going after my wife. The woman in the video, 47-year-old Tarsha Howard, was arrested and charged with trespass and disrupting a religious service. She showed us her injury and made a brief statement. I am telling you right now that I did not charge after his wife. It's on video and everyone can see that I was the one that was assaulted. And after this statement, he will hear from my attorney. The bishop was also taken into custody, but shortly after released, now criticizing the NYPD's handling of the incident. I was treated like a criminal. So I went from the pulpit to the cell for no reason. The New York police department failed me and failed my church. The NYPD says because of crowd control, both the bishop and Howard were taken to the 69th precinct for further investigation. Bishop Whitehead says he wants the NYPD to take action so there are no copycat crimes. In Canarsie, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. All right. Shalom. Kohala. Yahawa. Bashem. Yahawa Shah. Bashem. Raka. Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalawam and a salute to the hopefully let. Now, as you just seen on the screen, uh, that was a, a clip of uh, Bishop Whitehead, I believe they call him Whitehead. And uh, he's been in um, the news pretty much uh, throughout the past couple months. Um, Covering, you know, uh, he been in a lot of controversy, and um, I'm gonna just be straight up. Um, this guy is a false prophet, and the reason why a lot of these things are happening, and a lot of you Christian, you Christians are losing, you Christians are losing, and you're gonna um, be exposed. I have nothing against against this guy except for. Not personally, well, he's he, he's a false prophet, and we're our job is to, you know, push the truth, you know, and this guy keep popping up in the news, and that's the Lord doing that, you know, and the Lord going to expose more and more of you, uh, fake false prophets before we get up out of here to, uh, as we drive them towards the end, and only those with eyes that can see are going to see it because this thing is all about the elect you know we're not here to make friends like the uh brothers Akim, the elders were saying we're not here to be um we're our job is to give you the truth he's not telling you uh you tribes that you're the israelites you know that's important these christians are not pushing they're not uh telling you about the jab they're not telling you about the uh the implant, right? So we're we're Lord willing, we're the prophets because we're telling you what's gonna happen directly in the scriptures. You know, I didn't have anything. Um, I'm just going in the spirit, you know, because this came across my feet, and I said, hey, you know, let me, you know, the spirit got on me to do this video, you know, and I believe the brothers covered this this matter as well. So um, I'm gonna just get some scriptures. 
and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, um, this is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. It says, I'm going to read it verbatim. It says, for God, or Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And the Lord is judging a lot of these Christians, you know, because everything is being, being put to the forefront, you know. A lot of these uh, preachers and, and false prophets, they're doing things. It was another uh, preacher that got caught. I know the elder, he did a video, uh, Elder Karasaba. He did a video about that uh, that preacher that, that uh, was giving these young women awards. But he was he was he was boning the, the, the woman in the church, you know, behind everybody back. But if you look on the outside, you would think that this guy, you know, is is, is an upright person. But the whole time he was get given um, these young girls uh, dildos and stuff to play with, you know. So these guys are demons behind closed doors, man. So it said for God will, will God shall bring. Every work into judgment, whether every secret thing, because you can't hide nothing from the how about Shimmy I was shot. You know, a lot of these matter of fact, I'm gonna go up one verse, verse 13. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of of the whole matter. Fear God. Fear Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. See, these people don't fear the Lord. They don't fear the Lord. Because first of all, they don't know, they don't know anything about them, you know, because they don't read out the scriptures. You know, this guy just sit on a, uh, what they call it, the pulpit and just spew, spew whatever comes comes to his mind. You know, they, they spew their doctrines. A lot of these guys like Charleston White and all that, they get they hear us, you know, starting with the elders and apostles on down. They hear a little bit of, the, you know, videos here and there. Take what they want, take what they like. Then hear a little bit of that here and come up with their own doctrines. We was talking about that at camp the other day. We bring that up numerous, numerous amount of times at camp because that's what they do. And they come with their own doctrine. You know, it says, fear God, fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. And we know um, through grace that we're not able to keep the commandments fully, but you want to do it to the best of your ability. You know, because right now we're practicing the, uh, the righteous uh, acts. We're practicing, you know. But in the kingdom, we're going to keep them a um, hundred percent. You know, I got another scripture. Um, this is second Peter. I'm going to go to first one, I believe it says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And um, the Lord is going to buy us back because right now we're under uh, he, he had he had died for us because we, we, we were in bond. We broke the contract with the heavenly father, the Hebrew Israelites, the Israelites. We broke the covenant because we went off. You go back to Deuteronomy, the 15th chapter, where it says, if you um, follow the commandments, which I gave you, but we went off. So we broke that contract. So we was in debt. So the Heavenly Father, um, we uh, we are up under uh, the international banker families because every time we went off, the Heavenly Father put another nation over us, right? Because we wanted, and um, if you go back around the time where the uh, law was oral, we knew it, but then we went off, we kept going off. If you read the story, Judges and um, Sam, every time we kept going off, you know, I know the brothers, the elders, you know, at, at my camp, we always talk about this, like, and the Lord and the children of Israel, they went off again, you know, then they get it together. We get it together. You'll have, you know, one prominent Israelite, you know, to step up and get everything straight. Then we went off again, you know, and over and over again. But this is the last time in history that we're going to go off. This is the last captivity because we ain't going to go off anymore. You know, we're going to get it right this time in the kingdom. But uh, 
Yeah, so we uh, so um I was listening to the elder uh video the other day on this this Jake, this Jake that's confused, this Christian. They all let me, well let's go to I don't want to go off the topic too much, but the spirit on me. Um let's it says but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that bought them so the lord paid for our sins when he shed his blood when they when he died for us and his sins you know but a lot of these christians don't understand that where the um deuteronomies let me go to it real fast um it's deuteronomies the 28th chapter this uh this jake christian said let's go to 20 here it is it says and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. That's talking about America. It says by the uh, with ships, right? And 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna say this: the northern tribes went in ships as well, you know, whether um because they came over here in sh ships too after the um after the Babylonian captivity, so they came in ships as well, but. They still were um, on ships through the transatlantic slave trade. Not every Israelite came on ship. But if you think about it, a lot of Israelites did because uh, the northern tribe came over here with in ships. Now, they didn't go into captivity at that time. They, we, they left the, uh, the eastern part to come over here. So they still went in ships and they still ended up in captivity under Esau because Later on, they uh, was the Taino Indians. He put uh, Columbus put a lot of them on ships, and so on, so and so. And the transatlantic slave trade, a lot of Jake were on ships, shipped over, uh, spread it all over the uh, the, uh, the world. How do you? What's the uh, main before uh, airplanes came into existence? We we're 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 um, the main uh, port. Uh, the main object for transportation was ships. So how did the Israelites get sc scattered? With ships. You know, that's how the Israelites, the majority of the Israelites got scattered all across the world by ships. So when it says the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So all most mainly all the Israelites went into because that's the only way you're going to travel with ships, you know, with ships. Now, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, for the most part, came over here in ships during the trans transatlantic slave trade. But the other Israelites went in ships, too. And they ended up in some form of captivity, you know. So it says, thou shall see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. That's slavery. And it says, here's the part where that Jake, uh, these a lot of these Jakes try to come with and they'll understand this it says and no man shall buy you and that um that where, where it says no man shall buy you that means no man shall save you right or no because because yahweh shab uh is the one that's uh gonna save us or buy us yahweh shab bought us you know but they they say oh when well, no man shall buy you whoa uh uh, we 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 were sold, you know. We were sold into captivity. No man shall shall save you. Talking about buy you, it's it's the bond. We up under the bond, but Yahweh Shah is going to be the one that that uh, bail us out of this captivity. How he's going to come in in in, in uh, the chariots when he comes when he come back? We're going to get taken up out of here. So Yahweh Shah is the one, the savior. That's why. He's called Yahweh Shah, meaning the Savior. He shall save. He's the Savior. You know? So Yahweh Shah is the one that's going to buy us. You know? But I was I ain't gonna go too deep into that, but I just wanted to cover that. It says, No man shall buy you. That's going into no man shall save you. You know? But if you want to say say it right there, um, no man shall Yahweh Shah is the one that that brought us back, you know. But at the time, no man bought us. No man 
meaning no man bought us or bought us out that bond or saved us out of that debt or uh, saved us out of that captivity, you know, for for a very long time. Till this day, we're still up under uh, the elite, the international banking family. We're still in captivity. Now, we're not in hardcore slavery, but we're still in slavery. You got to go to work every day. That's just as worse, you know. Now, we're not getting tortured. Well, for the, the most part, a lot of Jakes are still out here getting, getting, you know, shot down. We're still getting judged, you know. So, um, but I just, you know, going back on the topic. Uh, let's go to Matthews. Let me see. Matthews chapter 14. Right. Um, you know what? Let's go to Matthews chapter 24. The 24, um, one of my, uh, favorite chapters. Um, and I'll start at, uh, I'll start at three. It says, and he sat upon this. Uh, this is Yahweh Shah talking about Yahweh Shah. It said, and he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? So uh, if you have a half a brain, you, you know that in this time right now that we at the end of this. We at the end of this, all these prophecies are being fulfilled. The only major prophecy right now is that uh, that that mark, not the because uh, it's two it's two marks, not the uh, the uh, spiritual mark. This is the actual physical mark, the uh, karagma. See, so see that prophecy has to come, and a lot of you Israelite groups, y'all gonna be, oh man. That's going to be the boiling port, port right there. So it says, um, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? It says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name. All these fake uh, prophets, or even these Israelite, a lot of these Israelite groups. There's not uh, pushing the correct doctrine, the true doctrine. There's not um, these Yahweh or Yahuwah, you know, or uh, it's another one, Yeshua, you know, all these all these Israelite groups. They're not pushing the truth. Some of them could be sincere, you know. I believe a lot of them, a lot of them are of the elect. That's just right now ain't wake up and come out of that, you know. And Lord willing, we are the elect. Lord willing, I'm the elect, you know. Shit, we uh we hope, you know. So it says, uh, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And a lot of a lot of these people are being deceived. Even that guy, uh, Bishop Whitehead, what they call him, Bishop uh Whitehead, uh uh, the, the people that come to his church, they are deceived because he ain't telling you, he ain't, he ain't telling you that you, you're the Israelites. Come back to the law, statutes and, com and commandments. Follow them to your best, to your to the best of your ability. He ain't telling you the real name of the true heavenly father and his son. They still probably got pictures of white Jesus up on up in uh, his church. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But. You know, m most of these Christians have that image because when you go to these Christian churches, that's the first thing you think of when you when you thinking of uh, the one everybody ignorantly called Jesus. You look, you see that you see that white image, you know, that's why if you you got to come up out of that, that Jehovah's Witness stuff and them Christian doctrines, you know, they got that picture. It's white supremacy, you know, all the, all they got all the angels, white so-called white e looking like Edomites. They got Yahweh Shai looking all like an Edomite. They got all the uh, disciples. Here it is, the disciples were straight up Jakes and they made them look like uh, Edomites, you know? It says, um, so many, uh, a lot of these, a lot of Israelites are deceived. And, and guess what? A lot of them going to die. 
It's, it's, hey, it's just simple. A lot of them need that. I was watching um, the brother uh, from South Carolina video the other day about this this chick that came up with a, a song about a baby father free or something like that. And that that and he he said that that's one of the worst videos. And I agree with him. That's one of the worst demonic videos ever to can to come out. You know, it's terrible. I, and people like that need death. That that chick that came out with that song. What you gonna do with that? You ain't gonna. You, the Lord gonna see that and, and, and destroy you, you know. Unless she re repent, you know. And a lot of these niggas ain't gonna repent. A lot of these uh, Eves and these Jakes are not gonna repent. So you gotta have the two thirds, and you gotta have the elect. And a lot of these people that's mixed up in this in these uh, doctrines are of the two thirds, you know. So you wanna be. If this message is getting to you, and you can see it, then. You might be one of the elect, possibly, you know, it says for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ or I'm Hamashiach and shall deceive many, you know. So a lot of people are being deceived by these these guys like Bishop Whitehead, you know, unless them guys don't repent. If they don't repent, then they're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, you know, and a lot of them going to be a lot of them going to take that that mark. That karagma, you know, a lot of them set to take that karagma, you know, and if you take that, that's you're going to be destroyed. There's no repentant come repentance for that, you know. So um, I hope this was edifying to the body till again. Shalom.